This is the Global Economic Commodities Scrap Metal and Recycling Report by our Bentley Roloff Trailer and Gondola Trailer March 22, 2021. U.S. weekly crude steel production rose to 1.761 million tons, remaining below last year as steel shortages remain due to low production. WTI crude oil price fell to 61.44 a barrel, down 6% for the week on a new wave of COVID infections in Europe and the U.S., which caused new lockdowns in Europe that are hurting demand. The U.S. oil rig count rose to 318, the highest in months, but still down 80.2% from 2014's high as higher prices are bringing on more rigs. U.S. weekly crude oil production was steady at 10.9 million barrels per day, but demand is increasing. Relatively low prices are keeping production low. Scrap steel number one HMS export buying price Philly was steady at 345 gross ton with downward price pressure on great supply and good demand. Scrap steel number one HMS was steady at 411.67 a gross ton as strong supply is bringing lower prices for April. Harrow coil steel rose to 64.98 per hundredweight near a record high. Low production is bringing higher prices as steel mills increase profit margins. Copper price fell to 4.10 a pound, but remains high on strong Chinese demand, which is 50% of global demand. Aluminum price rose to 98.7 cents a pound, near a three-year high on strong demand and supply disruptions. China's January-February industrial production soared 35.1% versus last year with their COVID lockdowns. Textiles, non-metal manufacturing, and transportation equipment rose as exports to the U.S. are surging as U.S. stimulus money has consumers buying more Chinese-made goods. U.S. March industrial production slumped 2.2%, the steepest contraction since April, caused mostly by the severe weather in the central and south U.S. U.S. February's housing starts fell to 1.421 million annualized, the lowest in six months. Higher interest rates, higher lumber and copper prices are hurting. The number of unsold homes remains very low, so start should rise soon. U.S. initial unemployment claims rose to 770,000, the highest in a month. 300,000 is needed for growth. Claims should fall in the coming weeks with stimulus spending. Also, it will improve as states ease COVID restrictions. Philadelphia's March Manufacturing Index, which is a major U.S. area, jumped to 51.8, the strongest factory growth in 50 years. Overall activity, new orders, and shipments all rose. The U.S. Federal Reserve made some major announcements. Interest rates will stay low through 2022. U.S. economic growth in 2021 is forecasted at 6.5%, and they are concerned about the lack of recovery of the low-end jobs. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 150 points on the Federal Reserve's announcement to end banks' emergency ability to reduce cash reserves. Many are positive about the forecasted 6% plus growth, but they're concerned about rising interest rates. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions, and we hope all have a safe and profitable week.